We'll want to preheat our oven to 190 degrees Celsius or 375 degrees Fahrenheit before we get started on our super easy cookie dough. So we'll want to place our room temperature butter, our brown sugar and super final caster sugar into a bowl and beat preferably with an electric beater for approximately three minutes until our butter and sugar mixture is pale and fluffy and is really nice and homogenous because this is the foundation of our cookies. We will then introduce or add all our other ingredients from this and they don't need to be mixed as long. So our egg, which helps to bind all our ingredients together and add moisture is uh, incorporated and combined there. And you only incorporate for approximately 30 seconds to a minute. And that's just until it's there's no longer any egg visible and your mixture is really nice and homogenous also. Then we toss in our vanilla extract. You might think, well, two teaspoons is quite a lot, but um, don't worry, this really adds depth of flavor to our cookies and really complements the cinnamon sugar coating. So this is perfect here with these cookies. Next, we add in our final ingredients, which is our flour, our salt, and the most important, our baking powder. So in most snickerdoodle recipes, it's cream of tartar that is required. Baking powder actually has cream of tartar within it. And that is what helps to give our snickerdoodles their signature flavors. There's a slight tartness to our snickerdoodles because of the uh, quantity of baking powder in these cookies. And also it helps to give them their crinkly appearance. So it helps our cookies effectively rise really quickly and then fall once we re remove it from the oven. We also want to make our cinnamon sugar coating. You will need to stir this slightly longer than you think to ensure that that cinnamon is thoroughly mixed through with our sugar. And I went on a really <laughs> close up here. Um, after scooping our cookie dough, I used a um, ice cream scoop just to make sure that my cookies are nice and consistently sized. My cookie scoop is six centimeters in diameter or 2.36 inches. So it's like a medium cookie sh size. And then extreme close up on the um, sugar coating. We really want to toss our cookies completely around, make sure they're fully coated in the sugar. As we place them on our tray, we'll want to flatten ever so slightly so that they're flattened on the top and on the bottom and ensure that we allow at least one and a half to two inches gap between each cookie to allow them to spread as they bake for 10 minutes. As we remove them from the oven, we'll want to drop the tray just like an inch or two just to ensure they get that beautiful crinkly ex exterior. And there we have it. Do subscribe for more videos like this.